Yo, welcome back to another episode of Sips Up Success Podcast. I am Cameron, and this is my beautiful wife, Erin. What's going on? Mm, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wife slash, baby mama slash, you know, all the things. <laughs> slash, I hit it from the... <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, As y'all can tell by the title. Yeah, we're We're here. having a baby. We're here. Yes, this we're is, so excited. This is crazy. Um, all right, babe. Um, what are we sipping on? All right, so y'all, we've been capping for like four months straight on every Monday. Yeah. Um, I've had like maybe two cocktails, but the rest has been mocktails, mocktails and we've just lemonade been... mocktails. So, so instead of like lying continuously or not lying, but not telling the whole truth. <laughs> Um, we have been drinking mocktails. So now y'all, this, these are mocktails. I just made a quick pink and blue mocktail. His, his and hers. And the first one is called the Blue Lagoon Mocktail. I, I've never had the Blue Blue Lagoon cocktail, but found this recipe. It's just lemonade, um, club soda, and literally blue carousel. And then we also, we have the, the pink it's like a strawberry pink lemonade with mint in there and a splash of lime. Ooh. So yeah, that's the pink. I have and been loving yeah. mocktails. Like I'm just, I'm like, even once I have the baby, like yeah, the mocktails been the going mocktails crazy. Mocktails be hitting and, y'all. And low key, I've been having more fun making those than uh, cocktails. Mm, okay. I think that makes, you, I think they make you uh, try like more things different. Yeah, and, and they low key look prettier. Yeah, and they nice. taste really good because yeah. the alcohol isn't killing the vibe. Exactly. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. So before we get into it, this or that, boy or girl? <laughs> I think it's a girl. You think it's a girl? Yeah. I think it's a boy. But we also, okay, what's your preference first? My preference is boy first, girl second. Well, obviously, <laughs> girl second. Oh, you're saying to have a boy first and then to have a girl second. Yeah, if it was up to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, same. We're on the same page with that. Um. But I feel like all the old wives tales for me, it's like 50-50. Like some of them are girls, some of them are boy. Um, and... Cameron is just like so listen, convinced that we're having a girl. Listen, the way my life goes, all things that come are amazing. All things that don't come are the things that I desire first or at some point. <laughs> because I would like a boy first. I know I'm not having a boy first. So I told him he sets himself up for this. No, I don't. It's because just like that's your no, expectation. No, no, it's not an expectation. It is. It's it's me being realistic to how my life has gone. <laughs> I'm this is not something I'm guessing about. Um, yeah, I would love a boy first. I thought always think or thought I would have a boy first, but I, I just know the way my life goes, it blesses me in different ways. And that's why I think I'll have a daughter first because mm-hmm. it's just going to show me that no matter what we have is, you're going to be all the best of, dad ever. Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. Um, just like, you know, marriage, I didn't think I would be married till I was 30 and now here I am having a baby. So, right. We thought we and were going to have a boy and, dog. We got a girl dog. Like, yeah, everything that... It's yeah. girl. Yeah. And you're, you've been my biggest blessing, so... Oh, thanks, babe. You know. <sighs> well, right now, I'm 17 weeks, almost 18 weeks. Actually, by the time this airs, I'll be 18 weeks. Yeah. On and Monday. Yep, this Monday. And we found out... Let's tell a little story about how we found out. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So... <laughs> We went on a surprise. I took Cameron on a surprise trip to New York. Now, mind you, maybe a week or two before that, we had a podcast episode saying, are we ready for kids? We did not know at that time that I was actually pregnant. (laughs) Crazy. And we went to New York. I surprised him with this trip. And at that point, we still didn't know. But on that trip, I feel like, I don't know. It Cameron was kind of he said one thing and it just kind of stuck with me. He was like, was "This that? would be so cool, like to come here and if we had a baby." No, no. What let's, did you let's say? Let's get that right. I said this is this time of the year. It's like the one of the times that makes me feel like you know having a kid would be cool. Yeah. Because it's just like you. It kind of takes me back to when we were when I was a child. Like it's like you know you like get nostalgia. to give them. Yeah, like it's like the. 
it's some of your first happiest times in your life mm-hmm. around that time of the year. So I think seeing us being able to give that to our kids is would be dope. Yeah. So I wasn't saying that I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying ready. To, yeah, yeah, no. Cause but it was so wasn't. funny because people commented like, sounds like Cameron's ready and Aaron's not. And I'm just like, oh my God. Yeah, no. But <laughs> we went to New York. We had an amazing time. And when I got back, I was due to come on my cycle. And I'm like, well, where is she? <laughs> well, actually, I had a little bit of spotting, so I thought I was coming on. And then... I told Cameron, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, cycle just came on. Like, because at the time, we were cycle tracking. So I would track when I was ovulating, and we'd be extra careful during that window of time. But this particular month, I guess I just wasn't careful enough. And I thought I knew my body more (laughs) than the app did, which I did not check prior to. And so I'm like, oh, well, you know, it's just that one time. Like, it'll be fine. And when we got back from New York, I really thought like, oh, I just came on my period. No, I didn't. <laughs> but I thought she came And he on. thought I did. Yeah. So when the, a couple of days had went by, I had a YouTube event. Like we were. But the crazy thing at the YouTube event, I kept, I asked you. I'm yeah. like. It was a Christmas cocktail Yeah. And event. I'm like. Like we had a mixology normally we class. just don't, we don't typically just drink on Sunday just because next day is Monday. And then it's just, I don't know. We just we don't typically, but because it was an, was an event that she was the host the of. host of. I'm like, yo, like you know, exactly. She was, like, was taking like, like why aren't you drinking? Like, I would do like, like a little like basically and then, touch my tongue with it and then leave her a cocktail across the room. Somewhere, yeah, because so. at that point I'm like, okay, I thought I was on my period, but I ain't on my period. Well, so, she never like, told me that. Which yet. I didn't tell him because yeah. I'm like, maybe it'll come tomorrow. But the next day, it still didn't come. So I went to the gym. And at the gym, when I was working out, I had this, like, slight metallic taste in my mouth. And, like, at night, I was um, Google searching pregnancy symptoms. And I read a meme, and it was like, if <laughs> it was like, if you're searching what are early pregnancy symptoms, that's your first symptom, that you're probably <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> But I'm searching these symptoms and I'm like working out. I have this metallic taste in my mouth and I still hadn't come on my period. I was at that point a day late and I'm so regular. So Cameron calls me on the way home from the gym and he's telling us that another one of our couple friends is pregnant. And I'm like, well, I'm about to actually stop at CVS and get a pregnancy test because we might be too. And I was like, (laughs) I was like, wait. Wait, he's like back? wait what? what and i'm like yeah babe like i thought i came on my period i didn't like it just it went away like i don't know what's happening and you guys probably saw our episode about our pregnancy scare like years and years ago yeah and i'm he's like aaron i think you're probably just sucking yourself out and i'm like babe no like <laughs> this is this this is not a drill so we get the test I come home. Well, I go stop and get the test. Come home, and I'm I'm like, come on, babe. Like I couldn't. I could not be one of those girls who takes the test and surprises her husband and like gives him this whole surprise experience. I was like, oh no, like baby, you got to come. You got to come on down here with me while I take this test. So I took the test. We leave. We had a chiropractor, chiropractor, chiropractor. appointment. Yeah. yeah. We leave. I'm like, babe, I just need a little bit of time of like a little more oblivion, even though I knew I knew that I was pregnant. Um, I'm like, I just need a little time before I actually see that on that stick. So we went to the chiropractor. We went to get food and then we came home and I was like, babe, you look. Yeah. So I uh, I did grab our camera um, and she left like the little pregnancy test like in the bathroom. So I got the camera and I went. To go look, which this would be shared more so on Aaron's Yeah, like the channel, actual, actual vlog but experience. I did look. I did see it first, and I was like, wow. He, like, screamed. I don't know. Did I scream? I feel like you did. You were like, what? Or wow? Or something you I, explained. Hey, listen. I got to look back at And I it. just knew. I was like, I knew it. I told you. Yeah, so I looked, and I was like, babe, wow. Um, like, wow. Like, it's... Like we about to be. I just kept saying, like you, you pregnant. Like I you're really pregnant. It. I know. And 
But the thing is, when she called and told me, I was already stuck before she got home. So I'm really quick to get out of something. I'm like, all right, if she is, we just going to move forward, basically. Yeah. So, like, when she got home, obviously she took the test, but she hadn't really, like, set with the moment yet. Mm-mm. And we were sit, we were standing in the kitchen, and I had, I had to turn the camera off because I'm like, oh, this doesn't look very uh, exciting. Exciting. Yeah. And, and it, I'm not going to say it wasn't. <laughs> to me, my reaction, though, was more surprising to me than yeah. I thought that it would be. Yeah. I was like, oh, this kind of cool, basically. Yeah. Aaron stuck. No. And I think like, you feel a pressure to react to things a certain way based on what we nowadays. see on social yeah. media, for sure, because... Even when I was telling Cameron the other day, I'm like, we were watching Love is Blind, and I'm like, when I went wedding dress shopping, I did not cry. Like, I didn't have that <laughs> super emotional moment. And I'm like, do you think we'll cry when I have the, I'll cry when I have the baby? And he's like, I don't know. I don't really think you will. I just feel like there's this, like, reaction that people expect you to have. But also, people have. put it on to you, because there's been people who already know yeah. that, that, you know, someone has asked, are you really happy? Yeah. There's people like, are you attached and in a way, yes, you are attached, but it's just like, how do you answer those questions? Yeah. Like, it's exactly. just so many. It's kind of like you're getting thrown, like, this, this expectation, like, you're supposed to be acting like this. Why aren't you acting like this? Right. And I'm over here like, well, I ain't going to say the nothing, thing but is, it is putting you in a weird position. Exactly. The thing is, is that Cameron and I, our marriage has been so much fun. We, like, are super in love. Like, we just have the best I feel like we just have such a good life. Yeah. And it's the ideal situation to bring a baby in. But at the same time, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, everything is about to change. Like I'm kind of in that moment mourning what was. was. And I don't think that that part of finding out you're pregnant is really like shared because, and I don't, and I don't think it's a bad thing thing because like for us, we weren't necessarily true. Ryan, no, we were but not we trying. knew that like there's a possibility. <laughs> like, so it's not like we were completely, completely shocked. Yeah. You know, I know people say like this was a total shock. I mean, it was shocking because I thought we were tracking and being cautious, yeah. but it turns out like we didn't plan on trying until, until after this year. She turned 30. Exactly, like later this summer. So yeah. I, you know, I just had this moment where I was so shocked and I'm like this is about to change my body. This is about to change like our lives. And like, I'm about to take on this whole new role. And also is the baby okay in there? Like (laughs) I, did I drink something while like we were just in New York? Like we weren't drinking a lot on that trip. Thank God. Like we just really enjoying like the The Christmas vibes. So that was good. But like, it was just like everything just like, Clump, clumped time. on me at yeah. one time. But and it, I think it's fair because it was unexpected. Exactly. Like, I think... It'd have been different if we were actually, like, trying, trying for yeah. months and months. And, like, that was something... Like, it was like, oh, my God, finally. Like, we got it. Like, yeah. the victory. And that's kind of, like... I feel like... I feel like also that's why I think my reaction was decent because it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, this is cool because I'm like, oh, yeah, finally. It was more so, like, I've learned... I feel like I've learned... And hurt so much over these last year, last few years. Long story short, I thought you have sex and you can get pregnant. That's not the case. Um, you can have yeah. a whole bunch of sex and never get pregnant. Right. Um, there's also this window. Never knew about that. But anyway, I learned so much. I learned that it can be the man's fault that you don't get pregnant. I learned that there could be uh, deficiencies as to why you don't get pregnant. Like all these different things. Yeah. Let alone all these different journeys of like IVF that I. You know, some of our friends have had to go through or mm-hmm. have to go through or whatever. And to me, I ain't going to lie. Like, it made me think, like, dang, when we do try. Are we going to? You don't really have, know you if don't, you have those problems until yeah. you're trying. Yeah. And even, like, we have some friends that made us think, like, oh, we should go, like, you know, get tested for, make Let's sure our bodies are eggs, good. You like, know, all like, all these all different the things, things. Yeah. Which I have and never in my life been privy of. So, I got that all in my mind, so I am happy that it happened in this way, and I think mm-hmm. that's why my reaction. I was like, "This is this is cool." Like, I ain't got to. I don't have to worry about that. And I've had a conversation with one of our friends, and he was like, "Man, he was like, we we like we're good." Like, I was like, I low key kind of felt. I told him I was like, I kind of felt bad because I'm like, well, people who 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 maybe have more of a troubled time feel some type of way. He's like, bro, no, that's your journey. I'm super happy for right. y'all. And that's what I needed in that moment. Cause I'm that's like, good. I was thinking that 
we got friends who had been trying, who have been trying, and all these different variables. And that's who I think about first. Yeah. It's not the people on the outside who I don't know. It's just like, man, what if I tell, like, how does it come out yeah, when I say, like, yeah, this one of, time, yeah. literally one time, I'm Steph out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, I'm just saying, like, the, that's kind of how I was thinking about it before yeah. I, I had a chance to, you know, chop it up with some of the guys that, that have kids already. Yeah. In some of their journeys. But, that's why I think I was like, I'm like, oh, cool. Like, yeah. dope. The, well, let's talk about the first trimester. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> it wasn't, it was like, okay. When I first found out I was pregnant, that same day, I found a doctor. I booked my appointment with her. Yeah. I ordered prenatal vitamins. Like, I was on it. I was like three weeks and six days or something. <laughs> and I'm like, look, it's like something just changes in your mind is, it just, you know, you have to care for yourself because yeah. you're caring for the baby. So at that moment, I'm like, okay, this is real. Yeah. And the first couple weeks, because I found out so early, we're fine. I'm like working out. I'm doing all the things like eating, trying to eat healthy. <laughs> and then week six hits, like week six and a half ish. And I would I, say like week seven. Yeah. Like that, closer week, to week six. Yeah, week like week seven. seven. Week seven, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I'm nauseous. Like the nausea started kicking in. You didn't like, that's when you didn't like how anything smelled. The smell of stuff just like, ugh, like perfumes and. Pretty much, pretty much the day strong. after Christmas. Candles, that's when it, yeah. That's when it got. And like, at that bad. time, we were, it was the holidays, right? So yeah. we're like used to having cocktails and fun festivities with our family. And like the top three notebooks were getting shipped out. And I was exhausted. No one knew. Like we were, no I mean, one we knew, knew at but the time. like even when we were shipping the top three, I'm like, man. Uh, he's like, uh, Aunt babe, like, <laughs> I know you're tired, but. Uh, and I'm trying to mask my fatigue because. Yeah. And you no did a, you knew. did you did a hell of a job. Yeah, no, like, I tried. No, because, you did a. I mean, when she got home, she crashed. Yes, I was just. Like, it, but, I have never felt as tired as I did in yeah. the first trimester ever, and I just had these food aversions, smell aversions, and then when I would get nauseous, I would be like, I need to eat something, but I didn't want to eat anything because I you didn't, didn't like, like the taste of the anything. Smell. Then I would cook something, but by the time I finished, I didn't want it because I smelled it for too long and like. <laughs> We would have to eat out quite a bit because I'm just like, if I need, to, if I'm gonna eat, I need to just eat. eat. Like yeah. I can't cook it and then eat, and it was just, it was kind of rough for like those four, like Jan all of January, all of January, and I and would I say kinda, the first half of yeah, February. and I kind of went ghost with content because I'm just like, there's nothing I can't. Well, you were just sleep. The, the, and in my opinion, the first trimester was full of tiredness. I don't think it was bad as some of the stories we've heard. Yes. And Erin did find herself like she kept apologizing and like she kind of felt bad. I, th I, I feel did. like the more of that was for her because I was like, you know, doing everything around the house basically yeah. and trying to keep the business part stuff going. But, uh, you know, I mean, it was all good. But she, you know, I think you did amazing going through that first. You, you slept like a baby. Yeah. I have. So many pictures of her sleep. Yes. Like, and then the eight weeks came, the eight week doctor appointment came, and I just had a meltdown that day, right before the appointment. But it, it's, you had a meltdown, <laughs> but I'm like, I, I could tell something was, remember, I kept, I'm like, yeah. something like, are you okay? And you kept saying, I mean, yeah. I just, I'm like, all right. I think it but was. But I didn't just, think you were going to cry. I literally got back home. I don't know. I think I went to the gym. Did I go to the gym? I don't think so. I, I, think, I know I came back home and I sat on the couch before our appointment. And then you just walked to the bathroom crying. I was like, yo, are you crying? I know. And then you really start crying. Because people were asking me, like, have you been emotional? I'm like, no, not really. But that day. That was the one day. I feel like it was just because that was our first official doctor appointment. And I was just like, oh, my God, this is real. You know? I think that's when it set in for you. It really set in. Yeah. Even though I was, like, fatigued and nauseous and all of the things. Um, but it was worth it because once we saw the ultrasound and all of the things, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's like, yeah. this is happening. Like yeah, it crazy. felt more exciting, but, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like we're in a really good place. Our life is the ideal situation. I feel like right now is the ideal time for us because there, we're always going to be busy. We're yeah. always going to be reaching toward our goals and yeah. wanting more out of life for ourselves, for our families. And part of me feels like having a baby is going to push us to go even harder. For sure. And, you know, just let them be a part of 
yeah. our lives. But and I, the best thing that I heard that, that we always say is like the baby has to fit into our life. Yeah. Like we Who are said not that again? the um what girl? Um I know Emma Greed said it. Yeah. Okay. But like we are not shifting our lives to the baby. Our life isn't coming to a stop. Yeah. Like the baby, the baby has to adapt to us. Yeah. And like that's what we're gonna work really hard to just make sure that our goals, our dreams, our you keep know, excitement forward. toward each other even yeah. keep moving forward. Onward and upward. Yeah. But uh even too, like I know we we had a realization that we will put these type of things off because we're having a lot of fun. But once we really settled with the fact that something like a baby is going to fit to our lives, we were like, you know, it is what it is basically. And yeah. the fear of it left. Like there, I, and I think also that's, that comes to, for the excitement part, that there's no fear of having a baby compared yeah. to, I would even say definitely for me, there was a fear of having a baby. Mm-hmm. Um, but why? I mean, it's just it's, the responsibility. I, I don't even think it's just the responsibility. I think it's just like there, there is no, there's no perfect parenting situation. And I feel like when you grow up and realize that your parents are just adults too, mm-hmm. then you're like, dang, this is what makes it hard for them. Yeah. This is why when at age such and such, this didn't go this way. This is why they had to make this decision. Yeah. Um, and then also your kids get older. Like they they pay attention. Like we pay attention way more than they even realize. Um, they It's some things they probably don't even realize that we know. Um, and I think that's my reality. I think when I overcame that, then I'm like, all right, I'm, inter- I can, I'm open to the, to I guess that conversation. Like the conversation began to be more comfortable. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, but also like, you know, even for me personally, after like not thinking I was gonna be able to use my hand again last year, I'm like, man, it kind of is what it is at this point. Like you need to do and have the things that you say you want in this life. Mm-hmm. No matter when they present themselves, whether it's on God's timing or a timing that you said you want, regardless it's all God's timing. But if you said, Hey, I got this goal and it actually came comes on that day, like Hey, you just gotta be ready. Yeah. Whether it's before, during, or after the time that you set out. So, um, that's I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at with. It. I'm like, let's do what we said we want. You said we want kids at some point, right? Why does what does it matter when they come? Exactly. Um, as long as you make your life available, but also willing to go on with yeah. a child, because it's always gonna be something. And honestly, the last two years, I feel like when we first got married, we're like, we could do two years and then start. <laughs> And those years go by so, so fast, so fast. And our lives are changing so quickly. You know, yeah. we, we, were, we were traveling a lot and all of the things. And um, every year is like more like something else. So they are like, oh, we could wait until next year. Oh, yeah. we could wait until next year. We're not ready yet. And at one point I'm like, I kind of feel like we needed it to happen this way because we would have never we could have kept we would have and could have yeah. kept pushing it off and it's yeah. like when are you ever like fully 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 ready yeah your it's life is going to keep just, going and yeah. that's the point of having your when you have a child they fit into what yeah, you have exactly. going on there is no stopping there's just moving forward exactly so i'm excited to just make that adjustment and yeah. the biggest thing is even if you're never i i do think that you can be ready in some sense. Yeah. You know, I feel like when people say you're never fully ready, yes, I understand that you're never going to understand maybe some of the the challenges that are presented with parenting or some of the decisions you may have to make once you're a parent that that you may not be prepared for. But yeah. I do think you can be having a stable life, financially stable, yeah. you know, like you can feel confident in the life that you've built up into that point, point. to be like, okay, I'm yeah. ready to take that challenge on. Exactly. So I feel like we, we've we been at that point, and I told Cameron, I'm like, we've been kind of saying family, like we've been talking about family and a every lot time we do this, more organically. <laughs> yeah. And we did that when we were at the Before point where we, we were like ready engaged. to get engaged. I think things in that way do present themselves to us. Mm-hmm. Um, before we are really accepting it. It's kind of like, hey, life is telling us like, yeah. And exactly. I don't know. Also, too, I think that's kind of how you know amazing God is. It's kind of like y'all saying y'all not, but I'm telling you that you are, yeah. basically. All these different events that have happened to this point, this is no different. It's mm-hmm. just, hey, this is your next blessing. This is your next uh, time to create uh, the life that you've been saying you want to 
to create and live. Yeah. So that's hey, I'm 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 settled into that. Like yeah. it's it's just up. Cameron's gonna be such a good dad, whether we have a boy or a girl. And he just for whatever reason thinks he doesn't have naturally have paternal instincts, which he does. Why do you feel like you don't have those like why do you feel like that's not natural for you? I think I think it's just comparing for some guys that I know, like closely know that they exude those I don't know, those things. You know? Mm -hmm. Like they they give off the the I don't dad know. vibe. Yeah, the dad vibe. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know another way to put it. Like, they give off the dad vibe. Yeah. Like, they say different things. I've never talked in a certain way. I ain't never told you, like, hey, yeah, I want, I'm like, hey, I'm 100%. I'm getting close. No, no, that's never been my conversation. Yeah. There are some guys that I do know that uh, have had those conversations. Shoot, so, say, hey, man, I can't wait. I ain't never said I can't wait. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and that could be just from my own experience or whatever, but. I, I'm not saying I don't think that I can be a good parent. It's just more so like I never could put myself in the space of being a parent. Basically. Yeah. Like and I can I, do that for everything else, but that was one thing that I, I guess, never could put myself in the space of, you know? Yeah. And I feel like I kind of wondered that too. Like, am I going to be a good mom? I feel like I will be, but you just really don't know until you are in that <laughs> situation. Right. And everyone says... Don't worry, those instincts are going to kick in. As soon as you see that baby, as soon as you have that baby, like those instincts are going to kick in. And I think that's kind of just like, I'm what I'm okay is. with that, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I am so excited now. I I feel like when I first found out, I was like, woof. But now it's like starting to settle in and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see my baby. Hey, for me like, though, it's like this belly growing. My ground. stomach is growing and think, I'm feeling better yeah. and I'm just like... Yeah. It's every starting morning, to get warm out. Yeah, every morning I've been looking at her and I'm like... He's just like, oh my gosh, baby. Like, I like have to touch your stomach and it's just like, it's it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I think that's the best way I can put it. Yeah. I felt a little bit of flutters once, maybe twice. twice. Yeah, I think it was twice. But I'm excited to like feel the baby. Yeah. My baby's going to have to talk to me soon. I need to feel right. something. You got to feel something. something. <laughs> kicking it. Kicking the butt. Oh something. my goodness. <laughs> But yeah, so let us know your predictions, what you think we might be having. Boy or girl. Um, and I'm not going to have my content completely change. I feel like a lot of people are going to no. be like, are you going to be a mom influencer now? No. <laughs> uh, I will obviously incorporate, like the baby is going to be a part of our family. Yeah. But I don't want my content to just completely pivot. And no, it'll it be won't. the same stuff. So it'll still be a balance. Like we're I don't think we're I mean the vlogs are the vlogs, but the, the yeah. information and the uh that kind of content the business part is it, gonna stay not going the same. Anywhere. Yeah. So and she's she's returning officially. We're we're getting yeah. we're getting things going. Please get extend uh grace to Aaron. Yeah. This, this has been a couple of Long three months. Yeah. I said a couple of long three months. But yeah, this has been, it's yeah, this been, has been a ride. Yeah, right a few months. So uh, since December to pretty much now. now. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, she's returning. And yes. Yay. We appreciate all the love um, that I'm sure this video will get and all of the content. We are going to post announcement pictures. That's what we're getting ready to do right yeah, now. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. Um, and we're going to have vlogs on my channel. So Make sure you're just kind of tapped in if you want to keep up to what's going on with us. Yeah. So if you rock with me, then you rock with us. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.